Hello guys. Today I have a cool gun to show you. This was made by the Daisy Manufacturing Company. The same company that makes BB guns. In the late 80s, they decided to actually make a real gun. And this one is chambered in 22 LR. That's what all of them were. They didn't make anything bigger than that. <clears throat> but it's a bolt action. 22 LR with a 10 round magazine rotary mag which means the bullets are loaded in a circle inside of this which holds 10 rounds which is amazing for something this small which is the same magazine that Ruger invented so a Ruger magazine theoretically should fit directly into this gun I haven't tried it but I've really been wanting to make a video on this little 22 since I got it the reason I bought it was because it was unique and weird the barrel on it is plastic and if you look you can see it has a metal liner inside of a plastic shroud so this whole thing is plastic from here to here and the stock is also plastic it literally feels like a BB gun stock <laughs> which is weird for an actual firearm that actually shoots bullets but it has an extension on the back you push this button and it slides out like that and also if you wanted to get into the inside of the gun right here if you wanted to like take the stock off this right here there's a certain groove you can see right there the circle which i got this gun at a really good deal because the stock was not it was loose the stock was really loose when i bought it so i had to figure out how to take off the stock and put it back on clean it up and stuff blah 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 and so i got it a good deal and i couldn't pass it up when it came up for sale but the stock it's weird because the stock literally feels just like their bb gun stocks it's a really cool gun i really really enjoy it it shoots really good too i've it's never jammed it's worked really well <clears throat> but the cool thing about this is not only can you take the mag and all that out like this you can also remove there we go this thing the trigger assembly comes out and the bolt comes out now it's literally just a piece of metal, the whole thing. There's nothing mechanical in this gun after you take that apart. You see? Line it up. But you completely strip the whole inside of the gun out. So there's nothing left of the gun. This is just a shell like this. But you have your bolt, your mag, and you have your trigger, trigger assembly. <clears throat> the reason they made it where you can take this out is this is supposed to be the starting gun for kids moving from BB gun to 22 LR, which is the next step up before you get into higher calibers. And they made it where when your kid grows up, they can you can extend the butt stock so it can be their forever gun and they can use it forever. Even on me, fully extended, it fits really good. Even my size, I'm six foot two. <laughs> but I just thought it was a neat gun when it came up for sale. I had to buy it. It's something I've been wanting for a long time. I saw something on a long time ago. I thought it was the neatest gun I've ever seen. And when I finally found one, I talked the guy down, <laughs> obviously, because what else do you do? And uh, I picked it up for a good deal, luckily. And they could have sold it to me for a lot more than what I bought it for, but got to know what you're looking at. <laughs> but... <clears throat> and then to put it back together it should be fairly simple I just need to line up the groove here there we go and it's all together like that but if you guys don't know what a 22 is which some of you are this is a 22 this small little bullet very small like you can see compared to my finger really tiny anyway 
this is still one of my favorite caliber guns to shoot. They're quiet, fun to shoot, ammo is really cheap, and uh, it's one of my favorite calibers. But let's shoot this thing some. Okay, let's see how this thing shoots. I don't know if you can see the orange targets or not, but that's what we're going to be aiming for. I think the farthest one is 30 yards away. It ain't nothing. It ain't very far, but I don't have sights or anything on it, really. I'm just using the old plastic, basically BB gun sights they put on this. But let's shoot it. Direct hit. <laughs> hit the 30 very quick. Right off the bat. and hit the one that was about five yards shorter. And hit the closest one right there. Look at that. Three in a row, three for three. <laughs> There's these little ones down there. I don't know if I can hit those. I'll try it. And I hit it, no way. <laughs> With iron sights, I hit that. I don't want to shoot a bunch on this video because that's not what this video is about. But I was just wanting to show you how cool a little gun this is. It's really accurate too. We Another weird thing about this gun is that uh, if you look down the barrel, which you're not going to be able to see, if you've ever looked down the barrel of like a brake barrel BB gun, like one of those uh, pellet rifles, it's the same kind of thread as that. It's a very neat little gun. It shoots dead on. And I like that the barrel is lined in plastic because you, I don't have to ever worry about this rusting. Well, anyways, I was saying how I like how the barrel is plastic. That way it doesn't rust. See, if you hold like a regular barrel of a gun, it's gonna rust as soon as you take your hands off. At least it does for me. I have a tendency to make guns rust with my hands. Some people don't. I have, I guess, greasy hands, but I like how it has the plastic barrel. I'm not afraid to hold it by the barrel. I'm not afraid to touch it anywhere on the entire thing because it's not gonna rust, which is great. They made uh, two more different models. One of them was a bolt action as well, but it only had a six round mag and it was a little bit different than this one. And then they made one that was a semi-automatic, which had the 10 round mag as well, but it was semi-automatic. You know, pull the trigger, pull the trigger, pull the trigger, pull the trigger, and it fires, fires, fires like that. But this one is the bolt action. I'm glad I picked it up. It's a cool little gun. I'm very accurate with it, as good as you know I can be. It's weird that a company that makes BB guns like this, just like this, made a 22, an actual rifle. And they only did it for three years, but nobody was buying it. So they had to quit production, sadly, because it's a cool little gun. I mean, it's not really quality. I mean, it's plastic. Most guns at the time were made, you know, back in the late 80s, early, early 90s, were wood stock, metal barrel, you know, really rough, gonna last forever, as long as it doesn't rust to pieces. But that's my little review of the Daisy. I hope you guys liked it. It's a really cool little gun. It's one of my favorite things that I have. It's something I'm gonna hold on to forever because it's so unique and weird, and I like Daisy. I collect BB guns and stuff like that, and I, all kinds of guns, but I collect a lot of Daisies but I thought this was a neat one. I had to pick it up. But. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you guys come back. Hope you like the video. Please like it because, you know, if you guys like stuff like this, I have a lot of other cool little guns and toys and outdoorsy stuff like this that I like to show. But thank you. Have a good one. And I'll see you guys in the next video.